Yeah, mate, you'd think a big retail business like Kmart over here would be hemorrhaging money with all this lockdown shit. Yet somehow, Kmart's added an extra $700 million to their bottom line in the last 12 months. Now, uh, don't tell anyone about it, but uh, I know how they've done it. Fucking coffee and herb grinders, mate, all right? These things are flying out the door here at Kmart. These were our number one most stolen item for years. We can never figure out why. But ever since we put security packaging on them and actually forced people to pay for them, we've brought in nearly another billion dollars in revenue, mate. I mean, that's a lot of coffee and herbs. But yeah, mate, I've been working at the Mart for a couple of weeks now, you know, trying to get some of that Chrissy Rush money, and uh, the job's not all that hard, eh? Just a lot of uh, walking around aimlessly with the price gun evading customers, which is uh, right up my alley, of course. Plus, with all this paid bludgeon time, I've been able to come to a couple of realisations. The main one being that Kmart sells fucking everything, okay? Oh, that's not an exaggeration either. There really is too much fucking shit inside this store, mate. I mean, if you want a shit painting of some flowers, one of those stupid minimalist lamps that doesn't have a shade on it, a big fucking novelty Toblerone and a fucking boogie board, then come into Kmart, because it's probably all in the same fucking aisle. Uh, attention all Kmart shoppers, we just got a big truckload full of cheap Chinese shit that's going to disintegrate after six months in, so if you could all make your way to the front of the store, you'll all get some. Thanks so much and fuck you. But yeah, mate, here at Kmart we're pretty big on safety. I mean, you know, OH&S and all that. Mainly because there was just too many people coming and getting a job at Kmart and pulling a shelf down on top of themselves on the second day, you know, getting on the compo. So uh, they've stuck me on the safety duty now and I'm right on top of it. Uh, some people say I might be too safe, but I don't think there's such thing. There we go, gloves on, safety's on. Bend that knee straight back. Oh, no, fuck that. Yeah, can I get uh, five or six more team members out here at the loading dock? I've got a uh, particularly heavy box, thanks. Yeah, mate, the safety's all covered here at the Mart, eh? But, I mean, the security? Fucking hopeless, all right? I think it's good for, you know, quality and all that, that uh, Kmart only hires deaf and blind people to work security, but come on, mate. I mean, we got people walking out of the change rooms with 26 layers of clothes on, you know, big gaps in the CCTV, which just so happens to be where most of our shit goes missing. But most egregiously, I mean, today, I saw some bloke getting around impersonating a Kmart worker. I mean, he even had the name badge and everything. Oh, fuck. Just wait until corporate is about this, mate. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me back. Oh, no, I can't work. I've hurt myself. I'll have to go on. Compensation? Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Well, that's my stint at Kmart done and dusted, mate. And they'll never suspect a thing either, because I spent weeks building my reputation as the safest man in Kmart. I mean, no way their own safety officer would be a fucking compo scammer. <laughs> anyway, on to the next. Cheers for watching the video, boys. Now, remember, if you liked it, please consider subscribing. All right, we'll try to get to 200K. Now, we know you guys hate these long outros, so we're going to be starting to phase them out by the end of this year. So uh, this is going to be one of your last chances to get your name read out, if that's what you want. Now, we're not just taking away your names and scamming you. We're actually going to be replacing it with exclusive stickers and merch and actual physical goods for our patrons. So, you know, you're actually getting more bang for your buck over on the Patreon. But if you want your name read out, mate, you better act fast. We got 1-3 Weld, Stephen. Jingling Jofie, jo Jofe, Brendan Coffee's glorious penis. Friends Mowing, Punch Bowl Customs, I Swallow, Mr. Sister Fister, a classic. Cat Girl Cream by Commando. We got Dean James, Vanguard Timber Flooring. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Do you have a minute to talk about your car's extended warranty? Big Clintos, James Collins, Gary the Goat, Flat 32, She Felt Alive. Value Glass Canberra, I'm gonna shag your nan, Joshua. Aiden Parmesan, Jeffrey Law, James Rum. Haywood Jablomi, Bubba Hawk, a Malaysian food, Brunswick, RMG Off Road, Matt Cullens, CYP, please notice me litter, suck at ease nuts, I tongue punch Tim's wife's fart box, Ollie Betts, Woody the Welder, you stole my goon, I'll find you, Murph, Murph's naughty little boy, Dictator Dan, King O, Jason Hill, Zach Man, Zane Connolly, My Nun Rips Can's Dad, Wilson Steele, Willie Deho, Joe Mama, Alex Hicks, incompetenceinsurance.com.au, Troy Alardi, Bo Kelly, Alan Newhouse, Kevin from Queensland, Caleb Honey, Bill Chen Young, My Nan Thinks You're Hot, yes, that's my name, Dylan 3D, and Dylan 3D107. So thank Thanks for supporting us, and we'll see you in the next one.